guys! Welcome to the next episode of my Halo concept art analysis series, with this episode being focused on the UNSC Scorpion tank. Just how much this iconic tank changed from its conceptual phase versus what we actually saw in Halo CE. That's what this whole video is about. And I've actually been really looking forward to making this video in particular because the concept art of the Scorpion tank is pretty nutty. It changed so drastically throughout its conceptual phase, and I can't wait to dive in. But just in case you guys are new here, I make new Halo videos every single week, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. But guys, let's look at the Scorpion tank concept art so kicking this video off with our first piece of concept art we have this guy and i absolutely love this piece of concept art it looks nothing like a scorpion tank but it looks so awesome it's so sci-fi and different than anything else we've ever seen in the unsc's armory at all but i love that it's got like these dual cannons in the front kind of reminds me uh, kind of like the grizzly had du dual cannons but i love that it's got these big canisters on the back of the individual cannons where i imagine the ammo is stored it actually reminds me of like 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 one of the tanks from Command and Conquer Tiberium Summon, an RTS from way back in the day. I love it. I love that it's got the, you know, the actual tank tracks on the bottom so that even though it looks sci-fi, it's still grounded in like human technology with the ground, the, the treads on the bottom. It looks really cool. I, I mean, I'm but looking at this, you can see that there's like a window right there in the front where the person can see out, but I imagine somebody climbs in through the little hatch there in the top, which if that's the size of the hatch, I imagine this thing's got to be pretty big and that makes it even cooler. I actually think this is a really cool looking piece of concept art that it, it, it that could be used somewhere else in the Halo universe. It reminds me of like the, the Wolverine kind of from like Halo Wars. It looks really cool. I would love to see it pop up in the future. That's, it's just, it's a great looking piece of concept art. Let's move on to the next one. So here we are guys at the second piece of concept art and guys, I, I love this one. Here it is. I, <laughs> I don't really know what to think about this because it's, I'm trying to think about this tank being about the size of the normal Scorpion tank. So Master Chief is probably like half as tall as this thing. You know what I mean? And if that's the case, this thing is so silly looking. I feel like this thing would be really cool and really intimidating if it was massive. Like, if Master Chief was, like, as tall as the treads, maybe, then this thing would be pretty cool. It would have a hell of a time getting around the Halo sandbox. But, I mean, if this thing is anything less than massive, I feel like it's it's pretty... It's a joke. It's kind of funny to me. But I really do like that it's got this massive, almost comically huge gun on the front. And one of the things that makes me feel like this is a really big tank is the fact that it's got windows all the way around the cockpit, allowing maybe, like, multiple people to walk around really what it looks like to me is if you took the ion cannon from empire strikes back and just threw it on some treads and there you go you know it's ready for battle but you know it's it's cool but i feel like something like this would really work if it was like i said it was absolutely massive maybe take the treads off and this is like a turret on the side of a giant unsc warship that would be pretty cool but as a tank i don't really like it i think it's kind of silly looking let's move on to the next one so here we are guys to the final piece of concept art for this video and here it is and guys one of the things I love about this is even though this is the final piece of concept art and what I could, would call the closest version of concept art to the actual scorpion tank that we see in Halo CE it still looks completely different it's got that more elongated shape that we see with the actual scorpion tank at least way more accurate compared to the other concept art that we've seen so far but what I love about this is that the, the treads in the back are way taller way bigger and it just gives it like a just a really unique look i would love to see this version of the scorpion tank somewhere in halo i think it looks so neat uh you can actually see it's actually actually has a the machine gun turret right there which is actually on the scorpion tank in halo ce the main cannon as well i feel like this kind of has some inspiration at least around the main gun of the scorpion tank that we see in halo 5 i i love it even the the, the treads in the front look completely different it's a completely different shape but if you just look at the gun and the beginning of the body right there in front of it it actually does look quite a bit like the scorpion tank or at least future iterations of the scorpion tank which is really cool to me because I always think when I see something like this that maybe the reason that the Scorpion tanks look similar to this now is because they use this original concept art from like 1998 and that's absolutely crazy. I love this, this look of the Scorpion tank and like I said before, I would love to see it in the future Halo games. It's so unique looking. Honestly, it's more unique looking than what we actually see in Halo CE. This might be the first time I've seen a piece of concept art for a Halo game that I like more than what we actually got in the game. It's more creative looking. I love this. Ah, 
I would love to see it in the future. But either way, guys, we've reached the point in the video where I show you guys what the what actually we got to see in Halo CE with the Scorpion tank, and here it is in all of its classic tank glory. I feel like, like when you look at the Scorpion tank, there's nothing wrong with it. It's it took no risks. It just looks like a generic tank. I mean, it's cool how it's got the dual tread where it can like fold as it goes over hills and stuff. But you know, it's it's the Scorpion tank. You know, I can't hate on it because it's what it's what I know. It's what I love. Maybe they should have took a little bit more risks and actually used something similar to what we saw before. But you know, guys, I love this tank. We all love this tank. Tank beats everything, as you guys all know. But either way, guys, even though it's not as creative looking as some of the concept art that we've seen in this video so far, it's such a fun power trip every time you get into the cockpit of a Scorpion tank that I love it regardless. But either way, guys, that's all I have for this video. If you found yourself liking this video, be sure to drop a like on it because it helps the video reach more Halo fans, and that means a whole lot to me. And I also make new Halo videos every single week. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.